From Sky Ranger, you can see the aftermath of Monday's fatal crash, including several smashed cars on the street and sidewalk. But even more disturbing are the police lines marking some of the debris. According to neighbors we talked with, officers told them that vehicle was traveling about 60 miles per hour. And according to police markings, the women were in the sidewalk and at least one of them was thrown all the way here. The vehicle continued on and then crashed into other cars several yards away. Two women were hit. Police say one died on scene. The other was rushed to a local hospital with critical injuries. Neighbor Tracy Harding says she rode up on the crash scene yesterday and was immediately concerned. Obviously, we need to keep these streets slow uh, so that people like myself who use the streets for transportation uh, that are not in a vehicle won't be uh, injured or killed. She says it's a busy spot used by a lot of elderly residents and high school students daily. According to the SFPD, the driver of the suspect vehicle was still behind the wheel when officers arrived on scene. He was first rushed to a local hospital and has since been arrested. Officers booked 47-year-old Robert Green on multiple charges, including manslaughter and driving under the influence. San Francisco Supervisor Gordon Marr says the victims are described as two Chinese women who were just out for a walk in the neighborhood. They were crossing in a crosswalk. Um, and, you know, this just should not have happened. And, and it, it, it's absolutely, these types of tragedies are absolutely preventable. Supervisor Marr, who's currently up for re-election, has called on the SFMTA to install further infrastructure, like speed bumps, to slow down traffic here. He's also calling on the San Francisco police to do more. My colleagues and I are, re are really following up and, um, and really holding SFPD accountable to enforcing our, our, our traffic laws uh, more, more aggressively in our city. The two victims in the crash have not yet been identified. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.